who could be Flavio? Who's the stand user here? Hmm. I'm gonna guess it's this guy. <laughs> hey, ready to go? Hi, you guys, and welcome to the Shan Caravan. In today's video, we're back with some more Paper Mario and a Thousand Year Door, and we're back with Mario, the real Mario. <laughs> I can't believe it was a fake Mario all that time. So we were all fooled. Hmm. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, did we hurt your feelings? Maybe a little. That kind of sucked that, like, even though he didn't have my character or personality at all, y'all were just like, must be him. <laughs> hmm. Er, well, all right. It's, it's okay to be in touch with your feelings. So then. <laughs> You've brought a shining ray of light. It's like awkward. <laughs> You've brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario. We need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit anytime you like. Yeah, and not anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I think this is like the quickest we've ever gotten back to Rogueport from a mission. Oh shoot, every time. Oh my goodness, Mario. Would that be an email from Princess Peach? About to find out some bad news. My dear Mario, I have finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The x knots plan to revive the thousand year old monster and use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand year door. They'll find this demon's spirit, but the only thing that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans. Princess Peach. She laid it all out there. She like, y'all been wondering about the lore of this game? Well, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Pat style. <laughs> An ancient demon spirit? Yeah, I think it's time to go. <laughs> you could maybe say Lego. Hey, I actually made it across. <gasps> and didn't. <laughs> Good enough. All right. Uh, I might just go the original way back down. I don't honestly know where that other way takes me. I think it's a shortcut, but I'm not like 100% sure. I ain't trying to waste time and get lost. And we're back. <laughs> Let's switch back to you belly bells. And deposit the star. Find out what the next one is. I could have swore this one was like number five, so I guess I'm a little out of order. <laughs> so ready for this. <laughs> Any day now. <laughs> it was very impressive the first time, but the fact that you have to do this every time is just like, yep, it floats. Yep. Pretty little light show. My eyes. It burns. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so I got these two mixed up. I thought we go to the island first and then Twilight Town, but I guess it's the other way around. But, you know, it's all good. <laughs> we are done with, like, the chapters I don't really care for, and now we're on to the fun chapters. <laughs> The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Come on, let's go back to Professor Frankly's office. What do you say? We have to tell him about the Princess Peach email. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? Th that was written in Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon? And those fiends want to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect it? How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. Don't leave us in suspense. Give us a scoop, Professor. Hmm. This is rather long, so you best listen well. Better get ready. <laughs> Are all of you ready? And you there, in front of the TV, our computer monitor. <laughs> you listen up to. TV? 
You don't have a TV. What in the world are you talking about? Breaking that fourth wall. Oh, never you mind. Don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that I read about in that book may well refer to this demon. It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood on this very area. It also says that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster. And that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars, which they had stolen from the demon, and they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze and sealed the exit. From this, I gather that the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. Seems that whoever wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for evil or good. Then the question is whether gathering the crystal stars is a danger in and of itself. I mean, if we found them all and then got robbed, the demon could be revived. Don't you think maybe it'd be better to break them apart and scatter the pieces? Just like uh, Wind Waker. <laughs> that was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the thousand year door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. Bad luck, huh? The fact that these goons want the stars now may be coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. In that case, we gotta go collect the rest of the crystal stars immediately. No time to lose. Where can we find the next one? Hmm. According to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keyhole Key. Keyhole Key? I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless and savory rumors. You know, the usual stuff, vengeful spirits, full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. <laughs> I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. You should hear there first. Heed there first. Hear a little bit. <laughs> Off we go. I love when they tell us where to go instead of just being like, oh, well, figure it out. Use a walkthrough. Talk to literally everybody in town. I'm going to save. <laughs> Off to the hob. I wonder if that, uh, that dude is here. Nope. Off with my money. Uh, who looks like they know what they're talking about? Let's go to Patchy over here. No matter how much I work, life never gets any easier for me. Know what I mean? It's really hard to do British or anything like that. Scottish after hearing Australian for so long from both Bluey and the Wiggles. <laughs> There's got to be a way to just go poof and get rich, you know? Poof. I uh, really, whoa. <laughs> that wasn't there before. It's a nice ship, but no one's here. Hmm. What y'all know about this ship? See that ship dock there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He don't sail too often, though. Mostly he hangs out at Podley's joint in the plaza. Well, that was helpful. <laughs> Thank you. Time to go to another juice spa. <laughs> oh, it's Luigi and another friend of his. Just a wrench sticking out his back. Well, I headed to Circuit Break Island and got me a marvelous compass piece. Talk about thrills, chills, and spills. It was pretty nuts, bro. Want to hear about what happened? It's a pretty long story. Oh, really? You're lost, bro. Maybe I'll tell you about it some other time. Hmm. Uh, who could be Flavio? Who's the stand user here? Hmm. I'm a guess it's this guy. <laughs> and what do you want? Ah, uh, who me? You ask about. Ah, uh, I'm called Flavio. I am, how you say, a trader. The richest man in Ropeport. It's not as much of a flex as you think it is. Monterey wealth gives me freedom, yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more? Hmm? What is missing from my life? This tears in my very insides. I must know. What do I lack? 
romance, emotion, thrills, money. But you obviously have money. Maybe some thrills. Emotion. You need emotion. <laughs> emotion, you say? Ah, I suppose each life must experience some emotion. Yes, the gradual process that forever alters the landscape of life, like rain on dirt. Ah, no, foolish Flavio. Not erosion, you silly man. What I need is emotion. <laughs> Wait, hold the horses. That is it. Now that I'm thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money. Do you not know the tale, the Pirate King's treasure, hidden on Keelhaul Key? Ah, well, tell us that the Pirate King Cortez hid his hoard of pirate booty there. For years, the treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them have ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. <laughs> People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacked all who seek his treasure. Eek! It's because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Keelhaw Key. But that will not stop Flavio. That treasure is there, yes, and I'm going to prove it. For I'm Flavio, trader extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. What is that you're saying? You are also looking for a treasure here in Rogueport? Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. You cannot be believing such stupid rumors about treasure from some street urchin species out. No, 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 no. Now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Well, hand it over, rather. I mean, show me. You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Keelhaw Key. You swine, you mean to steal my treasure out from under me, you awful, awful man. <laughs> well, now I'm confused. You are looking for things known as the crystal stars? But now that I'm thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be... Uh, stop such thoughts, Flavio. What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Keelhaw Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? <laughs> you unfortunate, foolish man. Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader. Yes, and you will be my captain. Ah, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. Yeah, take you, take your little crystal skull, I guess. <laughs> Bye. Off we go to the great unknown, the open sea. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Oh, sorry. Hey, ready to go? Ah, oh, yes, so it is you. Huh? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty. She is a savage beast on the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can... Ah, yes? Did you speak? Yes, yes, of course. The problem that has sprung up. <laughs> I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here is the issue. We have no... Navigator? He ran off the dog. The Navigator, of course, is the highest-ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here is the real problem. The waters around Keelhaul Key are deadly dangerous. 
we need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator it is. Ah, how you say, a pickle? Oi, Flavio. Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. <laughs> Do not tease me, Patch. You can solve our problem and spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard talk of a famed, no, legendary sailor living in Rogepool. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery, a salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he's said to have the helmsman's touch, sir. We can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is, they ain't a soul what's seen him in the seas of late. Bossa boom, problem solved. Let us scat out this Bobbery fellow and get him on board. Hmm? Hmm? As is customary, my captain will handle our negotiations. That uh, would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? Oh, no complaints. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, aye. Sounds fair. Good plan. I'm on board. Then it's decided. You must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. Preach. <laughs> Preach.